Hey there YouTube, Lator Awesome here, and welcome back to Pokemon Volt White. In the last part, we picked up a second team member who I still can't show you because I'm still only using the top screen. Um, Mock the Torchic Combus Combuscan. And in this part, we are going to go back to the outside of the Pinwheel Forest and actually cover all the trainers and, of course, the new Pokemon ratings. Starting off with fighting you. Are you going in deeper into Pinwheel Forest or did... The challenge rock. Even either way, unless you are tough, you'll just be rooted to the spot. Okay. Um, this nurse Cheryl with her Audino, who's going to give Mox so 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 much experience. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. Can Mock one shot it? No. <laughs> Stop slapping me in the face. Thank you. Um, in response, I'll kick you in the face. <laughs> oh, yeah! Just look at that experience. Look at that! Anyway, there are these nurses and doctors sprinkled throughout the universe region who just heal you after you beat them in a battle. They keep doing this no matter how many times you need them to. As I finally get this item, which is TM43 Flame Charge. I completely forgot. Um, let's see. Can anybody learn Smackdown? No. However, a physical fire move for a physical attacker in Mach is... It's got 50 power, 100 accuracy, and it raises my speed. Um, since Mach is going to be a physical attacker, primarily, actually, huh, I'm considering getting rid of Scratch for this, because I kind of like, in the 4th and 5th gen games, after the physical special split of attacks, um, I kind of like to have a special move and a physical move on Pokemon that can go mixed, Mach the Combustion being one of them. Um, and you know what, I think I will do that, because I'm, I don't use Scratch outside of, like, Piddling little damage. So, um, I can also teach him Incinerate rather than Ember. You know what? <laughs> Why not? It's stronger. Um, I don't need to burn things as much, I guess. Um, ooh, Pluck. Can you use Pluck instead of Peck? No, you can't. I could teach him cut, too, but I'm not going to. At least not yet. I haven't decided who's getting cut yet. Anyway, um... Hi, hi, trainer. I will let you see what kind of Pokemon I have. Yay! Um... Preschooler Homer. I'm resisting. Making the reference. Okay. Um... Ooh, that Rock and Roll did not have Sturdy. That's useful. No, I don't want to switch. Um... What was I doing? Oh, this one does have Sturdy. Darn it! I hate the new Sturdy ability. In-game. I, I, I really... Actually, I really like it when I have it. Um... Because it leads to just... Oh my, a Ghastly. It leads to just, like... Well, I abuse it, technically. <laughs> um... Yeah. I, You know how I like to spam items? That Sturdy ability gives me the ability to spam items. Sums. Should I rate you here? I'm gonna see if you're gonna. Nah, you're gonna die in a move. I, I don't. I don't feel like rating you right here. You've gotta. You know what? No. Y yeah, I'll just. <laughs> I have to do a ton of new Pokemon ratings, and he's the most common one in this route, though. So I mean, I can just. Yeah, I know. Anyway, um. There are new Pokemon in this grass here. There are three new ones, and then a bunch of old ones that are new to this game. So, back to Pokemon ratings we go. And he's the very first thing I saw, so I guess, <laughs> good thing I didn't talk to that, or rate him during the Youngster. Um, anyway, this is Timpole. Timpole here is a water... He's either a water type or a water ground. His final evolution is water ground type, introduced here in the fifth generation. Um, 
among the water ground types, he's a little bit better for in-game use than Chelos and Gastrodon, but other than that, he's the weakest. Uh, he gets a 6 out of 10 for in-game use because he has a good type, and he has a pretty good move pool, um, but his stats aren't exactly all there. So, I won't be using him, clearly. Um, I don't know. I'm not using anything in this route. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, Tim Pole here, he's okay if you really want a water ground type, but, you know... I would recommend somebody else instead. 6 out of 10. Okay, the next new Pokemon found here on in the outside of the Pinwheel Forest, or on the outskirts of the Pinwheel Forest, is Timber. Timber here is a pure fighting type introduced in the 5th generation. Uh, very similar to Machop, just like how Roggenrola and Geodude are pretty much the same thing with a few differences. Uh, Timber here is just like Machop. He evolves normally once by... Um, level, and then evolves again by trading into Conkeldur, his final form. Um, he's... Well, he's good. Um, he gets a 6 out of 10 rating for in-game if you can't evolve him into Conkeldur. If you can't evolve him via trade, or in this game where he evolves by level up, because it's a hack, he gets an 8 out of 10. So, he's a solid fighting type. Uh, he's pure fighting, so I don't recommend him as highly as, say, you can get a mixed fighting type around here. Um, but I can recommend him. He's, he's pretty good. I've used one. So, um, yeah, 6 out of 10 without Conkeldur, 8 out of 10 with. Okay, the next, well, actually, last new Pokemon you can get here in the regular grass on the outskirts of the Pinwheel Forest is Krogunk. Krogunk is a poison fighting type introduced in the fourth generation. Um, he's got a, I think it's still a unique typing. Yeah, it's a unique type, a unique typing. Um, poison fighting, that's interesting. Um... I wouldn't exactly say good, because it's quad weak to psychic types, and it doesn't really negate any other weaknesses he would have, and it adds ground. So, it doesn't really make him any better. Um, he's got good stats, and he's got a decent move pool, so he gets a 6 out of 10 rating for me. Um, but, I, I don't know. I, I really like the design and the concept, but he, he didn't really fill it out too well. Um... He can have the ability Dry Skin, which lets him, like, absorb damage from water types, but it pretty much gives him a fire weakness, too. So, yeah, Krogan's kind of a lot about whatever he adds, he takes away, too. So, that is all the new Pokemon you can get here in the regular grass here. Um, some old Pokemon you can get include uh, Metatite, Spinarak, Ladyba, Machop, and Makuhita. So, pretty much every fighting type you want along with a couple bugs uh, spread in there. Um, also, in the Shaking Grass, just before I fight this trainer, um, you can get, as I mentioned, the Fire-type starters, and Riolu, Audino, of course, they're in every they're everywhere, and uh, Tyrogue. So, yeah, lots of stuff. Um, as you can see, heavy influence of fighting types. Um, yeah, they're everywhere. But now I'm going to fight this guy, because I can. And because I'm tired of raiding. <laughs> oh my, you have a Quagsire! That's not going to be fun, is it? I don't even know what it used this there, So I'm speeding up the battle as much as I- Ooh, Mud Bomb! That didn't actually do a lot. And it keeps missing. Go, Link! Go! <laughs> um, now a shelter. You know what? Mock, get in there and beat this thing with, with incinerate. Because <laughs> it's... Because I felt like using a fire-type move on a pure water-type. I don't know. I'm tired. I have a lot of Pokemon ratings left to do. Hit all five times. That may have been skill link. It's no ability. Now, flame charge, because it looks awesome. Oh, right, yeah. Great special... <laughs> great physical defense. I forgot completely. Uh, is there any dumber move I can use right now? Yeah, I think that thing is skill link, which means any multi-hit move hits all five... No! I didn't mean to speed... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mach can get up to... Plus six speed, faster than any other Pokemon. Flame charge plus speed boost equals very fast. Um. Okay. Whatever. <gasps> Ooh, item. 
antidote. However, this route's ratings are not done, clearly, as there's this double battle grass and, as you may have guessed, double battle grass means new Pokemon. Please include at least one new one. Please, please, you're not new at all. I mean, you're, you're, you haven't been seen yet in this game, but you're old. Anyway, I'll pause until I can find some new ones. Okay. Um, the first new Pokemon I found here was a double battle against two Throws. Very creative name. Anyway, Throw here is a pure fighting type introduced in the fifth generation. This one. Um, he doesn't evolve at all, uh, but he has solid stats. Um, huge attack, huge defense. At least I think that's Throw. There's two of them. I get them confused a lot. Um, you'll see what the other one is. I'm sure I'll run into it next. Anyway, uh, throw here is very, very useful for the second gym. Uh, regular black and white version, you pretty much catch a throw or his counterpart, and you just rip through the second gym, no problem. Uh, kind of peters out later you get in the game because, you know, he doesn't evolve, so he doesn't get any stronger, but he's worth a 7 out of 10 for in-game use. Uh, not quite as good as a Conkelder, but a little bit better than an unevolved, uh, Girder, Timber, second form. So, that's throw. Next up is... Well, I guess next up is Burmy. Um, the thing on the right there. Clearly, because the other one is throw. Um, anyway, Burmy there is a pure bug type introduced in the... Why can't I see you? Oh, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do this, just so that it focuses on Mach, so you can see Burmy. Anyway, um, Burmy here is a pure bug type introduced in the fourth generation. He's kind of interesting in that, see how he has those, like, leaves around him? Well, uh, depending on what area you're in, uh, Burmy will have a different cloak. Um, he either has leaves for his grass cloak, um, like, pink stuff for his... I wanna say building? No. City cloak? I forget. And then sand cloak, which is sand. Um, I can't, for, I can't remember his third one. Whatever. Uh, but Burmy has actually four different evolutions that he can become. Um, one of them, which is what male Burmy's turned into at level 20, so that one would be, is a Mothim, which is bug flying type, uh, with nothing special going for it at all. Um, and the other one is, if it's a female, depending on what cloak it is in last, uh, grass, sand, or trash. That's the third one, trash. Um, it will evolve into Wormadom of a different cloak. Uh, the grass one makes it a half grass type, the sand one makes it half ground type, and the trash one makes it half steel type. So kind of an interesting gimmick, but all in all, Burmy's terrible. 2 out of 10 for in-game use, Mothim, or any of the Wormadom forms. They just don't have very good moves or very good stats, and they're pretty much just a gimmick. So that's it for Burmy, 2 out of 10. One more new Pokemon on this route. And there it is! Along with the rarest possible Pokemon that you can find here is the most common one on this route! Sock! On the left there. Um... Anyway, Sock here is also a pure fighting type, also introduced in the fifth generation in the same route as Throw. Uh, as you can tell, they're kind of like very similar. They both wear karate gear. I think that's called a gi. Um... And they're both pure fighting types. They don't evolve. Um, and they've got, like, the same weird-looking face. One's tall and skinny, one's short and fat. Whatever, they're Burt and Ernie. Um, for Sesame Street watchers. Are Burt and Ernie still around? I think they are. Anyway, um, he's a pure fighting type introduced in this gen. I already said that. Uh, just like Throw, he gets a 7 out of 10 for in-game use. I think he's a little bit better early on, but over time they kind of even out. Um... So, pretty much the same thing. You can see there's a Heracross there, who's, like, really ridiculously good for this early in the game. Um, but he's really rare here. He has, like, a 2% chance of finding him. But, whatever. That's all the new Pokemon here, so I no longer care. Um, I'm just gonna go heal. Uh, as I say, mentioned that the rest of the Pokemon that you can find in the double battle grass down there are Dunsparce, Doduo, Snubble, Apom, Cubone, and Heracross. You find them all in the double battle grass. So, yeah. Lots and lots of... Would you stop running into wilds? Uh, the wild encounter rate in this game is ridiculous. I don't know why they upped it so much, but they did. So, um, that actually covers all the new 
Pokemon that you can get here on the outside of the Pinwheel Forest. Yay! Won't you want your water? As you can tell, though, there's a ton of fighting types. If you really have trouble in the gym, which, I mean, you could, um, just basically go here, catch a bunch of fighting types. There, there is no step three. Just catch a bunch of fighting types, maybe grind them up a little bit. You probably don't even have to. And you, it's over. You just, you've just won. Um, but anyway, that's all the new ones on the outside of the forest. Y you might be noticing that I keep saying the outside of the forest because yeah, there's new ones on the inside. Lots and lots of new ones on the inside. But that's not this video. It's not even next video. <laughs> um, it, it, it is the video after that. But, but I don't care. Actually, three of the new ones were in this fight. I mean, technically two of the new ones because I don't cover evolutions. But... Whatever! Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, so... Lots and lot. Uh, unlike, like, in the first gym, they give you the elemental monkey to counter its type, and in the second gym, they give you. Well, in the regular game, they give you either timber, throw, or sock to catch right before the gym. Um, in this game, you can get timber, crow gunk, metatite, machop, makuhita, throw, sock. Priolu, Heracross, Tyrogue, uh, <laughs> Chimchar, and Torchic. So if you can't fill out a team of six with them and beat the gym leader, I I can't help you. I really can't. Plus you can catch an Oshawott in the route before this one. So... A lot of options, is what I'm saying here. Lots and lots of options. <laughs> um, I highly recommend in any game, pretty much just catching something on this route. Because there's always something good here. Uh, well, actually, in the entirety of the Pinwheel Forest. Um, the outside or the inside, there's just a ton of new Pokemon to catch. I always typically pick up a team member around here. So, yeah. Anyway... Back to battling this battle girl who I've been ignoring completely. Um, because <laughs> she has. Oh wait, right. You can also get Mankey way earlier on if you decided to use a Mankey. I don't know. <laughs> there's just there's just a lot of different options available to you. Um, yeah, just gonna Razor Shell. Why can't Razor Shell just one hit KO things? Would it really be that difficult? Like, really? Ugh. What a- WHOA! Alright, it just turned 9 o'clock. <laughs> you. <laughs> Fight me. Um... Yeah, so this is kind of- This video is kind of showing off the different, like, times in this game. Or actually, this video and the last one. Um, I recorded the last one right before this one, so... That's... That's how it's 9 o'clock when it was 8 o'clock in that one. Um, so, yeah, the... Unlike in the first... Well, actually, no. It happened in second gen, but then it broke the game batteries. Um, but unlike in the first generation and the third, uh, they added in time. And, like, day and night changes. Actually, in the fifth gen, they introduced season changes, which you'll see in a couple videos whenever it changes seasons, and it does every month. Ooh, Water Pulse! That's better than Water Gun. Like, by a lot. But yeah, I beat this guy! And grew to level 25. Oh, right! This here is the Challenge Rock. If you have a fighting type, you get a Star Piece. You can only do this once a day. I think just one fighting type? I think just once a day overall. Um, yeah. Um... So if you have a fighting type in your party, you can hit the rock and get a star piece, which is a free 4,900 Poké Dollars. That's a good a netball right there. So, useful. Um. You are annoying. Wild. Go away. 
You. Heal me! Unfortunately, she says something after you heal. So, she's not perfect. But! Um... You know what? I said I would do that battle. I'm already up to 20 minutes, but... Leader Lenora, an archaeologist with backbone. Um, there's an important battle if I step one more step this way. Should I do it? Yeah! You know why? Because it's a rival battle! I want to see things no one can see. The truth of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be. In a future where Pokemon have become perfect. Do you feel the same? Yes, that's so. I think my friends and I should test you to see if you can see this future too. Yeah, N talks real fast. Anyway, here we have a battle with N, who just steps out of a gym and fights us, and he's like, yeah, deal with it. Um, oh no, he sent out a Drillbur first. I don't actually remember what he normally has. Oh, right, yeah. Um, for the sec- for the second fight with N here, um, in the regular games, he will have a Tim Pole, a Timber, and a P-Dump. So... Ow. Yeah, um, so in this game, he'll have a different party, which is clearly more difficult. Wow. Um, Drober's a lot tougher than any of the others, and any of the others, and so is Bronzor. At least, probably. Pfft. Ow! No! Oh, uh, why with the sleeping... And this thing's part psychic type. Wake up, block. Wake up, 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 wake up. Oh no! I can now not use any moves that he has. If I had extrasensory hypnosis or. Whoa! Mock! Wake up! Thank you! You're gonna die otherwise! Um. Yeah! Fuck speed. Um, <laughs> darn it. All that speed boosting for nothing. Uh, whatever. Um, Tim Paul here, water ground. Is he water ground or is he just pure water? Well, now I don't know because it has water absorbed. Fantastic. Why would you use pump? Did that crit? That crit? I think there was like three or four crits. No, I won't switch Pokemon for a Vulpix. Didn't even know you had a Vulpix. Was alerted to Razor Shell. Huh. Then I'll use Water Pulse. Mind games. Yeah. Teddy Ursa. Okay. Um. Looks like he uses primarily things found in the Wellspring Cave. With one found outside of the Pinwheel Forest. I guess? I don't know. Um, oh, I know Vulpix. Where did that come from? Anyway, right now my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can't solve the equation that will save the world. But, so, I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Now I know what power I need. Reshiram! The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Unova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friends. Yay! We're gonna be friends! And he's gonna be a hero! It doesn't sound at all scary or potentially world-destroying. Nope. Not even a little bit. Anyway. Um, in this part, we talked to her too much. Um, in this part, we did the outside of the pinball forest. I don't know why I keep going into this menu when you can't see it. Because I forget. Um... And cleared out that whole area to the challenge rock, and then finally had a, our second battle with our true rival, N. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this part, and next time we will be taking on the second gym, the Necreen City Pokemon Gym slash museum. Anyway, see you guys then.